What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited. It's day two of Shark Week and in yesterday's video I showed you guys the shark deck profile. In today's video we're going to be doing the combos and showing you guys some basic one card combos as well as a three card combo that puts up some insane boards. Now if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. Keep in mind I do deck profiles and then I'm going to do the combo video right after for this entire week but in general we do deck profiles combo videos product openings all that good stuff it's going to be right here on the channel so make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned into all of that so thank you guys all for watching and with that let's get right into some combos all right so for the first combo here it's literally just a one card combo the most simplistic combo this deck has you just have to normal summon your buzzsaw shark it doesn't matter what the other four cards are if you have buzzsaw shark in your hand you have this combo all you need to do is once you normal summon your buzzsaw shark you're going to activate its effect targeting itself of course and you can summon a level four fish from your deck it literally does not matter what you summon at this point point. and now you have two level four monsters this is a really easy bahamut shark into toad this is also a really easy baguska or a really easy dweller obviously depending what your opponent has so here you can go Bahamut Shark. I mean, this is just the most simplistic combo, right? You go Bahamut Shark, you're going to detach for Bahamut Shark, and you're going to get to go totally awesome. So this is your pretty much one card negate, which is very powerful. And keep in mind that you did this in one summon for the shark, two summon for the lantern, three summon in the Bahamut, four summon on the totally awesome. So if you're playing under something like Nibiru, this one card lets you play a negate, play totally awesome. And let's say you have more extenders. You don't have to be afraid of Nibiru. All right, so I know you guys want something a little bit more exciting than that one card combo. So I'm going to be showing you guys this crazy combo over here. Yes, it requires three cards, but it's more like two and a half cards because the only two cards you really need are Buzzsaw Shark as well as Exceed Remora. The third card can be any extender in your deck. So Silent Angler is an extender. It could be Chathana. It could be your White Mirror. It could be so many different cards. It could be Instant Fusion, Ready Fusion. So this last card in your hand can be any one of those that I mentioned. It's just the main two that you need are Buzzsaw as well as Exceed Remora because this is what you're going to need to start your combo off. All right. So we're going to start off by doing the typical normal summon buzzsaw shark, activate its effect, targeting itself. And then once you target itself, you can summon any fish from your deck. doesn't really matter which one you summon. So let's summon lantern shark here. And then let's go into the Bahamut shark. So this sounds pretty, you know, standard over here. But what we're going to do is we're going to summon our totally awesome. Now keep in mind, again, like I said earlier, totally awesome is going to be your fourth summon here. So you're still under Nibiru. So the rest of your combo is going to be safe, which is honestly really insane, right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and use our Bahamut Shark to summon our Vespin... What's the, what's the name of this card again? The Drill Driver Vespinato. There you go. And he's really, really powerful because what he's going to let you do is going to give you two materials under it for your Ixies Remora. So now what you're going to do is you're going to activate your Ixies Remora effect to detach the Lantern Shark as well as the Bahamut Shark to summon Remora. Now you're going to want to do this before you do your Silent Angler. Keep in mind Silent Angler when it's used, you can't summon monsters from your hand for the rest of the turn. So you're going to want to do this first. Let's activate our Ixies Remora effect and what this is going to let you do now is summon two fish monsters from your graveyard so you're going to activate its effect to summon your lantern shark as well as your buzzsaw shark so now you're thinking oh why do we have so many bodies on board where are we going to go with this and you're not going to activate the sharks here the effects are negated so it doesn't really matter but the really important part about this is now we have a silent angler summon right so because we have no more effects to activate from hand let's summon our silent angler what we're going to do now is we're going to go bahamut shark with two of these all right so we're going to go one and two into a bahamut shark now you have multiple options of where you want to go here right so first thing here is we're going to detach for this bahamut shark doesn't really matter which one we detach to summon another totally awesome and now how far do you guys want to push it i'm going to show you guys both options once you get to this point but the first option i want to show you guys is if you want to just go triple toad you go another bahamut shark you go this bahamut shark into a third toad which is insane because you're setting up three toads all right and you're not losing to nibiru here keep that in mind and then on top of that you have two bahamut sharks now what are you going to do with these two bahamut sharks that are kind of dead and sitting there for you you're going to use two of them to go into f0 with the two bahamuts right over here and then you're going to be able to go into f0 on top of Utopic Future. These are, I guess, both F-Zeros, but Utopic Draco Future over here. And this is a monster negate for you as well as a Snatch Seal. And you have one, two, three totally awesome negates on the board with a simple, I guess, three card combo, but it's a 2.5 card combo. And this is setting up an insane board. One, two, three, four plus a Snatch Seal, which is insane. And then on your opponent's turn, this is more than OTK. So you're fine for going for game next turn. And keep in mind, you still have two cards in your hand. You're going to draw for your next turn. So this is such a powerful board. 
All right, so let's rewind a little bit and we're back at this game state right over here. And what you're going to want to do instead of going the Utopic Draco future, the Triple Toad, let's say you don't want to burn all your resources all at once because a board like that can lose to something like Dark Ruler No More. Keep in mind, if you guys haven't watched the deck profile, we are playing Solemn Judgments in the main deck so we don't lose to cards like Dark Ruler. But I just want to let you guys know, like, you know, you're not always going to draw the Solemn Judgment. So what can you guys do in these kind of situations? Well, the best thing to do here, honestly, is to go into another Bahamut Shark. You're still going to do that because Bahamut Shark putting up a second toad is really really powerful so let's do this we're gonna detach doesn't really matter which one and summon a second toad now instead of going into another bahamut shark to make the draco future especially in today's format where we all know tier limits is such a powerful deck you can just go into dweller use these two to go into dweller keep in mind they're water monsters it's gonna boost the attack of all your other water monsters because dweller is just really cool in this deck in that sense and on top of that if you just go standby phase you use the dweller effect you pretty much shut down your tier limit opponent's entire graveyard and then this is way more than game on your next turn so you're pretty much ending your board on one two negates plus no graveyard for your opponent which against the tier limit matchup is just absolutely insane now i know this combo isn't as good as the other ones i just showed you but i know i'm gonna get a comment saying hey how do you do the one card combo with beautiful princess it's the same thing as the buzzsaw shark combo all you're gonna do is normal summon this to be able to summon your buzzsaw shark and then from there you just do the regular buzzsaw shark combo into toad right so this card is still a one card combo just like buzzsaw shark is it just gets you to your shark if you don't draw into it so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy those were some simple combos that i think you need to know if you guys want to play sharks in today's format now keep in mind the thing with sharks is these combos are still going to be relevant no matter what format you're in yes the deck can change slightly depending on the format if certain hand traps are better certain board breakers are better but the shark core is going to be the shark core and this combo is going to be relevant always when you can put three to four negates up regularly your deck is not going to have a problem winning you just have to play support cards to beat the current format and with these combos i hope you guys can take this video whether you're playing sharks now or sometime in the future and learn how to play this because this deck is very very good when it pops off so thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already for more combo videos like this one this week is going to be shark week so if you guys want to see the deck profile it was yesterday's video and in tomorrow's video we're going to be doing another water-based shark based deck profile which is insane so make sure you guys subscribe for all of that thank you guys all for watching and with that Thank you, son. Enough. Ease.